Don't cry to me. It's a damn shame that everybody don't want to give the Canaanites their due. Because we have been so indoctrinated against the Canaanites and indoctrinated against ourselves as African people. And we believe this this self hatred lie. We believe the lie. We believe the lie that God. Excuse me, I, I didn't interrupt nobody. We believe the lie wholeheartedly from white supremacy to self hatred supremacy. You know that 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 this religion began with these heathen people who called themselves Hebrew Israelites. That is crazy. How are we gonna sit up here and actually believe? that the true faith of God began with nasty, uncircumcised Abraham, okay, a heathen, all right, and then it didn't begin with Adam. You mean tell me that it didn't begin with Adam? Didn't the scripture tell us that Jesus is the second Adam? The Bible didn't say that you're not even addressing the point. I'm not going to address the point. I'm going to address the point. Give me evidence. Give me nothing. Kevin. Kevin. Like Jesus, you got evidence. Kevin, Kevin, you gotta let me talk, bro. And you got to stop talking over me in your head and with your mouth. Because if you listen, you're gonna fall in line with the truth because you're because you're a smart brother. But can you overcome self-hatred? Can you overcome the lie of generation? Excuse me, sir. You wanna, I'm gonna get there, sir. Right, I, what, I, what I'm gonna get, what I am saying is, is that because we hate our blackness because slavery and every other race of people besides ourselves has taught us to hate hey, ourselves. We're, we're the low, brother, I love myself. Brother yeah, yeah, yeah. and sister, I'm, 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 can I finish Jesus, talking? You're, man, you're, you're in the market. Yeah, you're, you're not even dealing with the evidence. Uh, well, I'm coming right back. I'm coming right back. I really am. I'm coming right, right back. So my, my point. Let, let me just let me just let me come right on. Let me come right back to the point. Let me come you're right just back. Talking, to the point. Buddy. You're just talking. No, okay, no. well I'm coming right back to the point right now, sir. I need. I'm coming right back to the point right now. Yes, sir. And I'm going and I'm going to deal with scriptural evidence that I just already mentioned that you conveniently keep ignoring. And I, I want to say that, uh, that uh, you know, <clears throat> on a, you know, kind of like on a, on a religious level, you know, we see in Genesis 4, uh, 26, that it was in the time of Enosh, you know, that they began to call on the name of Yahweh. So that precedes the flood. When we get to Exodus chapter 6, something is very important in verse 2 of exodus chapter 6 it says then god spoke to moses telling him i am yahweh and i appeared right to abraham isaac and jacob as god almighty right el shaddai but i was not known to them by my name yahweh okay <clears throat> many scholars many rabbis will say well this is the covenant name However, Yahweh is used to describe God prior to uh, him revealing himself to Moses. But what's very important is that you don't have a blasphemy law for that name prior to chapter 20 of Exodus verse 7. So there's something very important about that name that now God has to <clears throat> put a prohibition on misusing that name. Never before was that prescription given. And in that sense, when we think of the importance of that name, it's, it's so important that God would actually prohibit misusing that name. It, that brings us to the distinction between this general term Allah, which, you know, which to me is a pagan Kaaba God, and our God. I mean, there's there's simply a major distinction because along with the revealing of that name to Moses later came a prescription uh, for misusing that name. 
So it's 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 very important and throw it around like it's equivalent to just other terms like L or Aloha is to me is just straight up blasphemy. <laughs>